Jacob, one prospect that you're very high on is left-handed pitcher Thomas Sapucky, who recently was called up to be the 27th man for the big league team. Still hasn't made his major league debut yet, but it's probably, you know, coming soon. So give us a scout report on what you think about Sapucky as a pitcher. Thomas Sapucky was the Mets fifth round pick back in 2015 out of high school in Florida. Really burst onto the scene in 2016, where he had a 42% strikeout rate between Brooklyn and Kingsport. I got to see him in Brooklyn that year. He was topping out at 97 miles an hour with a wipeout curveball. But since then, it's been kind of tough for him. He had Tommy John surgery after just six starts in 2017, missed all of 2018. 2019 was a bit of a buildup year for him. He only threw 62 and two thirds innings, kind of had a little uh, you know, stop and start with some other injuries. And then obviously the 2020 season being canceled. So it's really been five years since he's been full throttle. And now that he's back in AAA pitching in the starting rotation for the Syracuse Mets, it's kind of been a change in profile for him. He's not that guy throwing uh, upper 90s anymore. He's, he's working with a bit of a lower velocity, 91, 92, 93. It's a good fastball, just kind of with a different profile to it because he's not uh, throwing it as hard. Still has a really good curveball. Uh, and, you know, I think he's an improved change up away from having kind of David Peterson type upside of being able to to work as a left-hander in the back end of the Mets rotation. They haven't needed him yet, but he hasn't really gotten into a rhythm with Syracuse. I think as he starts to pitch more, uh, he's really going to kind of show that he's uh, a guy that they could potentially call up soon and, and be able to use him in the rotation. If it doesn't work out in the rotation, I think he has, you know, multi-inning relief upside. Um, potentially someone like, you know, not saying he's going to be as good as Seth Lugo, but that type of pitcher from the left side, I think could be really valuable for the Mets. What have you seen from Sapucky as he's kind of gone through many different profiles as he's made his way up through the Mets minor league system? Yeah, even dating back to the draft when Sapucky was in the draft process at the perfect game All-American Showcase, he was showing the best curveball spin rate in the country amongst the high school players that were there. So like you said, the curveball is very legitimate. He's had the trials and tribulations with the injuries, the Tommy John, and the things that have kind of set him back a bit. And to the point where now he's not quite the power arm that he was. I'm looking at Zapucky long-term as that multi-inning reliever like you spoke of, kind of in the Seth Lugo mold, where you can get two, three innings out of him. And maybe in those short spurts, that 91 to 93 maybe becomes more 93 to 95, where he doesn't need to stretch it out over six or seven innings. He could kind of put a little more into it. And then, of course, with the curveball. So for me, you know, I think they can utilize him as a starter. And I have the expectation that he probably will start a game or two at some point this season. You know, if they put him on the, as a 27th man, he's clearly right on the brink. And we know Louis Rojas has talked about him a bit. So I expect that you should see Zipucky at some point in Queens this summer. It's just a matter of what will the role be exactly.